Uh, yeah. We're here. Uh, we're queer. We're recording a podcast. We're chewing on Tums. <laughs> uh, yeah. As graceful as we get right there. Pretty much. Welcome to The Industry is Doom. I'm Mickey. Uh, I'm Blake. Hi. 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 <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's been a bit since we've recorded, and yeah, once again, um, America's still on fire, which is incredible. That no, 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 no. Canada's on fire now. It's great. Canada's, yeah, well, that's the thing. We're like Canadian on fire. We're Canadian on fire, and it really is the most Canadian of uh, scandals, because um, as I think it was the New York Times pointed out, uh, no one has had sex. No. Nope. No one has traded any money. No. No one has been uh, uh, physically assaulted no. or intimidated. No. Uh, it's it's that uh, a prime minister repeatedly asked very nicely a thing that is technically against the rules, and then in the end it didn't matter. Uh, but given that contextualization, <laughs> which is, in fairness, factual, yeah, that is how it went down. Did it make you mad? Not really. It, oh, do we want to have a chat? It more annoyed me at the sense of like, th- like this is these are constants. Th- these are bad constants in Canadian politics. No, and this is why I got super mad <laughs> because I think it's been clear to this point that I do not enjoy the Conservatives or anything they stand for or yeah. dog whistle or any other kind of whistle at. They're an awful party. They are awful people. And an I have party. mixed feelings on the NDP at the best of times and in differing circumstances. Yeah. But the Liberals have always been this team. Yeah. And all they had to do was not be this team this but once just to prove that they help. could not be this team yeah. one fucking time and they just couldn't at all. No, it, it's it doesn't the matter way. their money doesn't change hands. It doesn't matter. You had an incredibly credible witness go up there and make a very powerful case. Oh, and where everyone in the whole country probably where everyone true. in the whole country who yeah. has paid attention to politics for more than since Trump came into office, and y'all get super excited about politics all of a sudden, even yeah. occasionally our own. Everyone who remembers shit is like, oh yeah, we did hate Harper, and we will never vote conservatives. But God damn it, every time it's some kind of corruption, and it's yeah. It, fucking it's it's every the time. very liberal and it is always definition. politicized and involving Quebec, and that's oh, yeah. not fair either. That's what undermines national unity. Fuck that noise. It, it, it's hilarious how it literally is the same problem Ugh. every single time a liberal prime minister is in power. It's like, did you pull strings for Quebec? I did. <gasps> Oh, no. And I am not going to let anyone get all, like, anti-Quebec about this conversation. I fucking love the shit out of Quebec. But you don't have to pander to Quebec that corruptly to keep the country together. And yeah, it was corrupt. I'm sorry. In spirit, if nothing else, it was corrupt. It's it's absolutely... It's corrupt. It's that... uh, And I understand that's still nothing, but not when you go forward and present yourself yes. as so fucking holy all the time. Yeah, well, it, exactly. It's... And not when the other options are so bad. Now I have to c- complain that Jagmeet Singh sounds to me like Toronto Frosh Boys I remember from fucking St. Thomas or somewhere. No, it's absolutely true. And of course, I you hate know, that like... voice. Everything else with them is now fine, and I'm seriously <laughs> considering voting NDP because I'm angered. I'm just cheesed off. But I can't, because it would be a stupid meaningless protest vote, and I get that. I'm not about to vote conservative. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Elizabeth but, May, I do not hear you. I will not hear you. No, you're not there. And there is no one else running that is worth voting for. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, speaking of, uh, apparently Andrew Shear has made um, uh, uh, contact with Peter Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to know everything about this immediately. So, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is section yeah, one. This right. is the oh, my God. segment. I, I thought I had completely Are we not? Well, we've this. disavowed him, I'm sure, by now. Oh, we, we have absolutely Culturally, disavowed. we've disavowed him. Yeah. But... Uh, and possibly running in PEI instead of uh, Nova Scotia. He's actually going to run. Possibly. It, nothing's set yet, but it is the <coughs> scuttlebutt that uh, Andrew Shear has reached out to him because Andrew Shear thought he did a great job in that town in Alberta that he ran into <laughs> the ground because he ran it into the ground by specifically giving hundreds of millions of dollars to a corporate interest. So of course he'd be a great candidate for CPC. 
You know who pisses me off the most? Mm. All these reasonable people that I know and sometimes kind of understand and then get angry about understanding <laughs> it. Who are like, if only Lisa Raitt was the head of the conservative oh. party. Stop it. And then I might be able to vote conservative. And I'm like, really? Because here's the thing. I'm not going to make that face at Lisa Raitt. I don't mind Lisa Raitt. A lot of the times I'm like, Lisa Raitt, I agree with you. Lisa Ray, I don't mind you one bit. And I, then I, I look back her. at the party she represents, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, none of that noise. And it's not about your economic policies, even as much as I don't agree with a lot of those. No, it's about your straight up dickish social policies. Yeah, your Fuck white supremacist off. nonsense, and that's why I truly oh, hate her because just your antiquated refusal do to shit. move. Yeah, no, that's not. We're not going backward. It makes no well. That's the thing I really don't understand about conservatism, is it has no actual uh, goal. Like this is why Trump's been successful because he gave Americans, as dumb as it is, make America great again. And they were like, finally, we're saying that we think it used to be better, and we're not ashamed of it. Great, let's go back. Let's be racist as hell. And everyone is like, oh my god, is that what it meant? Yeah, maybe it's just because we can view you from afar, section two of this show, but (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. So no, no, no. It makes no sense, like... There's no make Canada great again, so there's nothing for the conservatives to stand for. Everyone in Canada, for the most part at this point, nope, I'm sorry, point to any period in our history and be like, Canada (laughs) was both better and more interesting then than now. Uh, They truly believe that the pre- Pre uh, uh, Mackenzie King era Canada is what you should go back to because after that you end up with a lot of European immigration because of the war, and before that it's primarily uh, Anglo uh, like Anglo European immigration, and that's specifically what they want to go back to, Western and Anglo immigration standards of say. 1870 to 1920-ish. A, boring. Yeah. B, Quebec. Yeah. That That's the funny thing is most of the people saying this are either from Alberta or Quebec. And it's like, Quebec, your culture only continues to exist because the people who took you over are less dicks than you are. Nah. Nah. Uh, oh, they're they're evil in various ways, uh, but the way that they allowed there's a Quebec level to Quebec. still exist is something that like they didn't do for other cultures in their history. Oh, you mean it that way? Yes. The English oh yeah, no outright slaughtered. Oh people yeah, no, no, oh no, no hesitation on yeah. my part. Then no, 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 no. You go to old Quebec and you're like, wow, this really is kind of a nation in that way. If you're you know of a certain persuasion and aren't afraid to have those thoughts, yeah. it's quite amazing that the same people Still who glad took here, the Acadians and don't leave. Them out. Then I can't yeah. drive across to visit Ontario and have a place to <laughs> flee back to immediately where I feel comfortable, even though I really don't speak the language. Nope, oh, yeah. Ontario. I don't speak the language in Quebec. I don't speak the language don't in speak Ontario. Ontario. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have a heart. Uh, what do we have to do? Move to the fifty percent of New Brunswick Quebec will take with it when it goes. God, I don't want that. Oh my God, Edmonton is good for stopover breakfast on a highway, and that is about it. Yeah, Edmonton admittedly is great for a stopover breakfast. There's subway the that is just off the highway. You know the one I'm talking about. Fuck off, subway next to the Pizza Delight Restaurant Familial Wallet. That's the one I'm talking about. They're no, great. No. Oh, I'm sorry. You have time to stop. No, no, we are grabbing food and we are still blitzing across that fucking highway because we have you to get think, to Ontario. You think I'm not going to drag my Scottish <coughs> Canadian Ontario husband <laughs> through the reaches of Acadia for bre- for family restaurant breakfast? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I would like a French only menu, please. This is exactly what we need. That is we not haven't French. Even, we that haven't is even, 500 year old nonsense we from Europe. We haven't even left. We haven't even left the Maritimes yet. <laughs> and your menu is completely incomprehensible to you. <laughs> and we're definitely ordering Fevolard with breakfast. Don't even ask. Fevolard. Oh beans, my motherfucking God. beans. Yeah, baked no, beans I, at breakfast. I love baked beans at breakfast. Well, then what are you making that face about? Because they take like a pound of fucking butter and slather it on the yeah, they do. things. Yeah, they do. I, I, white beans that weren't white. God, I love <laughs> French Canada so much. I will learn your language one day and love you even more. I'm trying. No, you will learn the language that they use in Montreal. 
You will not learn the rest of it. They will not teach you. <laughs> Fuck that. That is not true. <laughs> nope. I have a grand time every time I go, and everyone's very patient with my terrible stranding oh, of their absolutely. language. absolutely. I don't mean that they're going to hide it from you out of rudeness. I mean that they remain this incredible patchwork of, like, versions of French. That's great. But, and yeah, so no, I'll learn, like, learn. <laughs> no, I'll learn, like, Quebec City through Montreal, that yeah, corridor. Yeah. That's fine. You'll, you'll learn the highway. I'll go camping in the gas bay and be bewildered. It'll be great. That's perfect. I look forward to this. There you go. And this isn't really news, but, like, who cares? You're learning a little bit about where we live. I hope you feel culturally educated after this segment. It's also March in Nova Scotia, so it's not like anything's actually fucking happening. No, but, um, no, you're right. That's why we're kind of looking forward to exploring away from here, because it's a frozen hinterland a little bit still. Actually, it's just thawing, and it smells like dog poop everywhere. <sighs> yeah, and Ottawa's... It is thawing. Ottawa's fake on fire. It, it, it's, it's more like there's, there's a little bit of a... A uh, cinder in a dustbin, and uh, the are conservatives talking? are coming around, going, "Look at it! Look at it! It's it's the end of Justin Trudeau." Oh yeah, no, 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 no. It's the end of Justin Trudeau. No, resign, 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 all he has resign, to do is hold up. Resign, resign. All he has to do is hold up. Resign, resign, resign. If we say it enough, maybe he'll actually do it, and we don't have to do any work. They, I didn't think initially, played that as early as I thought they did, so and then stupid. it was so early. It was <laughs> no, it was so early. Don't do that then. Yeah. Because now he's not going to, and now you have nothing to go to. Yeah, you, you went as far you as you possibly back. could. Yeah. What are you going to do now? I couldn't Fuck. make heads or tails of it, but the words Andrew Shear and Pizzagate should never appear in headlines together. Oh, my God. And there there's the other thing. It took him... It. The scandal, I think, was maybe six days old. Six days... Scandals in Canada can last years, years, especially when it comes to the Liberal government. Five Mm -hmm. years. Five years easy. Mm -hmm. Six days, and he effectively killed the momentum of it by just being like, oh, you're you're involved in uh, in minor corruption? Well, here's me talking to a white supremacist. Yeah. Ah! All their little dance with rebel media and all that nonsense. Ah, I'm not here for it. And they keep... Like, they haven't actually changed anything. They know that they're wrong. And yet they can't help it. Because this is the entire apparatus that they have. They don't have anything else. This is why red Tories here in the Maritimes piss me off a lot. Oh, yeah. It's because a lot of the people who I really enjoy talking politics with are red Tories. Mm -hmm. And they remember the old days of the progressive conservatives. And they're like, well, I'll still vote conservative because of that. And I'm like, who do you think you're why? voting for? Yeah. You've seen the lunatic fringe. But Jesus that's, Christ. That's why they're It is a big tent. It covers all the wingies. And they end up working their way to the bar at the center. And Fuck that, off. That's why I'm still pissed at Tim Houston. And, like, he won't comment on any of this or denounce anything. And it's like, when he came into power, he specifically said, you know, uh, uh, I want to make this a party for all conservatives. And I feel... That's a fucking dog whistle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I don't... I, like, Sorry, anyone who disagrees with that, but, like, all conservatives right now... Yeah, means fucking neo-Nazis yeah. who shoot up and kill 49 Muslims in a mosque. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, mm, God, do no we even trust. want to have an international segment this week? <gasps> I don't know that I can. Yeah. Well, no, we'll talk about... We'll talk about two things. We'll talk about two things around it. Uh, one, uh, a guy that I'm calling Captain New Zealand. Uh, his name is Aziz something. He's a Afghan. Abdul ref- Aziz, wasn't he? Oh yeah, Abdul yeah. Aziz. Yeah, I just didn't. I, I I didn't want to assume that I that was right, and it be like that's, it sounds like so the John Smith. <laughs> yeah, names. it's so like, stereotypical. Yeah. Abdul Aziz yeah, has I know. to be the John Smith, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he. Yeah, uh, uh, so he, he's a, an Afghan uh, refugee or immigrant um, to New Zealand. Uh, he was attending the mosque in another room uh, with his family. And this motherfucker charges in there, gets in an argument with the gun uh, gunman, enough to like distract him and piss him off royally, avoids getting shot, manages to get his hand on one of the guns. The gun doesn't have any bolts left. But he chases him into the parking lot and 
half sip through the fucker's window of his car and then chases the car down the street. Oh my god. It's just like, you sir, <laughs> what would have happened if you got your hands on him? Oh my god. Tear the goddamn like door off and just throw him through a wall. I haven't read a ton about this and it's... I refuse to watch any of the nonsense some people have been yeah, watching. Yeah, no, no. Uh, no. I don't, I don't watch TV when a shooter... Uh, uh, really no, I'm happens. talking about the grotesquery some people oh, will watch God. online. This, I haven't even... I don't even know the context of it. I just read the headlines, don't watch it, and remembered people at a lunchroom at a workplace that I used to work at. Mm. During lunchtime, watching Luca Magnata's video. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? And they were like, we just, you know, it's out there. We were curious. And I'm like, it's like, really? You're curious wow. about watching these yeah. things? No, no. You are in your 40s and have children. You are setting a poor example. Thank you. Yeah. This isn't like 18 year old, like. Yeah, they're not, not impulse control less. Yeah, exactly. No, children. no. Um, I read descriptions of it i won't watch it and it's just like oh so it's something that you would write you would write and put in a tv show and be like that's probably someone's fantasy it'll never actually happen it's too trite Mm -hmm. but no no you literally played a video game with people Mm -hmm. and it's like oh well, fuck. Mm-hmm. I love the idea that someone, and I don't love this, this is horrifying, but that some, I find it flabbergasting <laughs> that someone can have this extreme, insane, intense, bizarre cultural protectionist idea that makes yeah. no sense and go to a foreign <laughs> country. Yeah. And to involve people who are completely uninvolved yeah. in that bizarro quest. And and, and to, to then, like, these are the same people who go, oh, uh, uh, Islam's an invading cu- uh, culture. And it's like, New Zealand isn't the native stomping ground of Christianity. No. Like, what the fuck? How does New Zealand do such a better job, at least on the surface, of incorporating their native culture into their popular culture then because we're appalling at that they have all right it's a very fascinating uh uh thing. there's kia kaha <coughs> everywhere yeah so I look that up also that to you new zealand because everything is terrible right now yeah uh so in australia you mostly had an aboriginal people who because of the the kind of land access that they had throughout their culture's history were less warlike you know Still mm. warlike, like, you know, typical tribes and cultures and everything. <coughs> but New Zealanders are part of that Polynesian war faction. Mm. Like, these are warriors. And I, I love when you come across cultures that are like like Sikhs. It's like, no, these motherfuckers are Klingons. <laughs> I, I don't mean that in an insulting way. I mean that, like, get the fuck out of their way. Yeah. You know, they're, they're still warriors. If anyone is offended at being described as a Klingon, you clearly do not understand Klingons. Yeah. Like, it's not a term of <laughs> Full <laughs> respect and all honor to the House of Mo. Like, <laughs> That's great. Motherfucker. Uh, so, in, what was it, starting at least in the 50s, the, uh, 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 control over, over New Zealand's population has always been a bit more like, uh, please don't kill us. Oh, <laughs> God. Let's just have the weapons in case. And at some point in the 50s and 60s, uh, a movement called Black Power, but unrelated to the American Black Power movement, Mm -hmm. uh, began. And it was all of those Maori warriors who were raised in, like, New Zealand white culture that tried to destroy them coming together. And uh, they more or less started a gang that was so powerful and remains so to this day that they were able to scare white supremacy into at least shutting the fuck up in a great deal in uh, New Zealand. Now, they have a lot of white supremacists and neo-Nazis in New Zealand, 
but they have black power who will outright brawl with them in the streets. Okay. So you can I be a racist. I clearly need to learn a lot more about New yes. Zealand. You can be a racist in New Zealand, Zealand, but it means that a Maori man is going to beat the living shit out of you. Because you, you are fucking with people who didn't have the warrior bit beaten out of their culture. Mm-hmm. North America went somewhat different, but with the they truly exterminated the germs and the slaughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 exterminated every warrior and then picked on the remaining instead. So, yay! <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying to think of any positive spin. And not, uh, not and any, anyway, Sorry, the other thing, the other good thing, is Egg Boy. Egg Boy is great. Egg Boy is great. Egg yeah. Girl is also good. She's probably gonna die. What? Uh, I don't know anything okay, about Egg so, Girl. Okay, so first we'll, we'll discuss Egg Boy and then go on right. to Egg Girl. So, first of all, what is the name of that horrible senator? Anson. Ans- it's a really fucking stupid name. He got 19 votes in the election. How did that happen? Two, uh, he, he, there were two predecessors who had one ahead of him, and they were both caught in scandals. Hilarious. So this racist sack of shit who actually hired a gang of white supremacists, most of them convicted of hate uh, crimes. That's that's who's wailing on the kid in the background. That's his personal bodyguard detail. This guy's a fucking outright neo-Nazi. And I'm surprised. It, it's apparently up to the kid, and the kid has way more chill than anyone else because the the cops showed up and uh uh, apparently the kid threw a stranglehold said here come the bacon for the egg and the cops laughed hey you should explain what's going on okay so so uh the the kid threw well before this this fucking okay this fucking sander said a bunch of racist ass garbage about muslims because he's a racist ass Immediately, immediately after what happened in New Zealand. Immediately. He was very, very happy for it. I feel like I should look this up when you explain the rest, because he was particularly gross from what I recall. He's a real piece of shit. Uh, And so this kid at, at, at like, an improvised little press conference was behind him, and he smashed an egg on the back of his head, and it was glorious. And this uh, old bastard... Fraser Anning. Fraser Anning turned around and socked the kid twice right in the face as hard as he could and then had neo-Nazis attempt to strangle him to death. (laughs) Yeah, okay. So immediately after almost 50 Muslims were killed, he said Muslims may have been the victims today. Usually they are the perpetrators. He also said... The real cause of bloodshed on New Zealand's streets today is the immigration program which allowed Muslim fanatics to migrate to New Zealand in the first place. So clearly, he's the senator for the District of Empathy. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And yeah, way, so he they're... got an egg on the head and then punched the kid. Yeah, twice. punched the kid twice, to which Dean Cain, uh, the former whoa, actor whoa, of Superman. Whoa. No, we're no, going amazing, there. Amazing, amazing. Dean Cain. Unexpected Dean Cain moment. Yeah, said... That he personally would have knocked the kid out. Dean Kane, what? Why are you being such a dick? Because Dean Kane is a right wing asshole. Oh god, who isn't Jesus yeah. Christ? Anyway, so, so this kid though is so awesome that uh, the the cops didn't press any charges against him at all. And they I was implying it was unfair that Dean Kane grew to be a oh, yeah, fucking yeah. sole and obnoxious right wing asshole. He's a he's a real Because once upon a time he was Dean Kane. Yeah, it well exactly. Um but uh, uh, it was left up to the kid to press charges against the uh, the neo Nazis, and he chose not to. And it's like, oh, you're lucky, neo Nazis. But uh, a lot of money was raised for him online. He gave it all to the mosque. Yeah, I read about that. Yeah, uh, one point five million people have signed a petition to have that guy removed from parliament. Good. Uh, what's the uh, what's the population of New Zealand? Obviously, the petition will be signed by more, but... What's the population of New Zealand? Oh, please work. The population of New Zealand in 2017 was about 4.71 million people. Damn! So, potentially, might have an actual effect. Damn. Especially since he only has 19 fucking votes. Wait, no, oops, that was New Zealand. He's an Australian senator. Oh. Siri, we cocked it up. 
We cocked it up. What's the population of Australia? As of 2017, the population of Australia was 24 million That makes way more sense. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. No. Australia <coughs> has these things called cities, and people actually live in them. And there's more than one, so... Than one. Yeah, we had the wrong country there. Sorry, Australia, we're not that daft. Anyway. Close to. Still, hopefully they'll kick, uh, kick him out. Or maybe he'll go the way of uh, a few Australian uh, politicians in the past and go for a swim one day. I was just going to say disappear at sea. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm just going into the water. Oh, look, there's a shark. I'm going to call him Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> My shark. Oh, shark. My name's Bruce, too. Oh, you want to eat me, do you? <laughs> Moving on to segment two, just because I can no longer resist saying what a good thing it is that Trump doesn't have any impact on right-wing hysterics. Oh, my God. What? What is wrong with the media even asking this at this point? It's like they don't understand how to listen to a man who speaks out of the side of his mouth. They don't get it. He's yeah. not going to look directly at the camera and say, hey, neo-Nazis, go out there and fuck shit up. But instead... If you're paying attention in any way whatsoever, what he's saying out of the side of his mouth generally reads as that. Yeah, but it's because all uh, North American media now exists as entertainment. It's not news. News is what people in New Zealand were doing when they said terrorist kills, you know, terrorist murders 49. Yeah. You know, they didn't name the asshole. They named all of the victims. They went through all of that. They yeah, they really didn't. I yeah. haven't read his name. I'm I don't fine know his fucking that. name at all. And it's I'm great. Fine with that. That is a way to do it. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck he looks like because New Zealand law does not allow you to actually show his face. Good. You know, that's so, great. Yeah, so his legacy it, it doesn't exist, uh, and that's great. Uh, but here, it, you get profitability by having the argument. And yes, it it spreads disinformation and makes the audience and the viewer and the voter and all the, everyone involved stupider. And I swear to fuck, the Conways are running a con where one, oh, of, them yeah. goes, one of them goes, "Ew, Donald Trump's the best," and the other goes, "Ew, Donald Trump's the worst." And it's just it it's the brilliant con. Anyone who anyone who wastes their mental energy by sitting around going, "Geez, must be weird around there during the day." Well, the fuck do we get along after saying all that shit? They throw money at each other. If you don't think that's all a giant game, and that the victor is the person who gets you to sit at home thinking about that shit, yeah, I feel bad for everyone involved in that scenario. Mm -hmm. But it's the classic American grip. Um, P. T. Barnum was talking about Americans specifically when he said, "There's a sucker born every minute." He was talking about the people who literally walked through his front door in fucking I New York. I think that is unique to America, though. No, not at all. But he he was talking about the way that showmanship impacts on reality in America mm -hmm. and how you can sell people anything in a place where it's all based on the reality you create and then impose. Mm. In other countries, there's less of that because you have... You have cultural uh, uh, heritages that are usually one, like monoliths, mm. or you have very ancient laws and norms to point to. In America, it's real. It, it really is based on if you can do it, fucking do it. Because once you've done it, no one can take it back. There is the weirdness of the American dream, where you know life can be what you want it to be. Exactly. That does make it. I guess, suppose that it must have an impact on a society at large. Canada doesn't really have such a thing because yeah. we are the, as far as I'm aware, the world's most nebulous culture. Yeah, we are. are uh, we we more or less exist. In, well, good government is the is our replacement for the American dream. And if, it really is just the if concept. If the world of, were Thanksgiving, we would be cranberries. Yes, it's great to have cranberries. cranberries you know, you look around the table and you're, ooh, stuffing. It's this and that. Yams. There's always been yams. Everyone loves the turkey. We know whether it was them or the egg that came to this table first. Obviously. Well, there's also cranberries. Yeah. And you're not going to sit down and eat an entire bowl of cranberries. Nor are you going to spend much time, you know, really pontificating on, you know, the, the life story and the journey of the cranberries. But if you just eat turkey and They seem stuffing... like they came from a can. Yes, they seem to have. I'm really disparaging our great nation right now. And that's the thing is we're not bad. Yeah. We're pretty great. We but try really hard. We do moralize a bit, but we're often right. Perfect. 
But goddamn, if we don't spend way too much time navel gazing, but more importantly, never have any idea what we are beyond like the skin of the surface. Well, that's why we 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 consider this a scandal and not like. And again, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Maybe we're the small town of nations. Maybe th- I think, shockingly, maybe a Thanksgiving plate isn't the perfect analogy for Canada's <laughs> place in the world. Maybe not. Maybe we're just no. We're the small town version. We're hanging out with all the other big city mayors, but we just happen to know everyone who lives here. Yeah, Rob from Canada yeah. probably have met him. Probably. He's do. from Winnipeg. Yes, I couch surfed on his couch. No, not in winter. What's wrong with you? I said Winnipeg. Winter peg. I don't think there's any point in going back to America. What else is even going on? Well, that. Yeah, oh yes, we do. Else? There's finally something I love. What? I'm gonna call him Pete Buttigieg because I think that's how he's actually says oh, his name. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's favorite man <coughs> that you haven't heard of before last week. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. He's a lovely, gay, well-spoken voice, and everyone's not having a fit over that. Oh yeah, no, I'm no, like, good. It's more just it's a, a thing marker. of like we have entered the Democratic candidate territory where it's like. Who's a candidate? Everyone's a candidate. You know why? You want names? We got names. You know why? Mm. Because you thought it was hilarious watching the Democrats put up Hillary as a candidate. Oh my watch the Republicans prop up Trump as a candidate. That's going to be great. He, the Democrats so are like, you know what? We might as well actually see who's got the most interesting presence and ideas and talent. Because we can. We don't need a heavyweight right now. We just need someone that people will go, huh. He or she sounds and seems reasonable Dude, and personable. Yeah, not insane. Clearly I'll vote for that instead of crazy Uncle Ritalin over here. Uh, but, like, their choices are wonderfully Democrat. Because they, they look at uh, the playing field and they go, Okay, Kamala Harris, she's successful. She has a really bad history of propping up uh, uh, some really bad institutional uh, policies. But, ooh, ooh, we gotta push that that California, California dream, California dream. You turn around and they've got Cory Brooker, who he's gonna be busy. Uh, uh, he he apparently is uh, going out with uh, what the fuck's her name, the actress, Rosario uh, Rosario Dawson. Nah. And it's like that's I the like most. Her. Oh yeah, I love her too. I don't care for Cory for Cory Booker that much. Oh yeah, well I don't give a shit about him, but it's like the most. That's wa- more accurate to my feelings on him. Yeah, it's the most Jersey relationship ever. <laughs> Hi, I'm the most famous politician from Jersey, and this is my wife, the most famous actress from Jersey. My only my only issue with Kamala Harris at all is her Wakanda YouTube video. I'm like that's weird and stilted. That's Hillary asking its weird and stiltedness. Uh, she has a history of usually imposing the three strikes rule on black men only, and she also has a history of disallowing transgender prisoners from accessing both services and being in the proper facilities. I appreciate that you're talking about sincere wrongs in the world, but we're talking about politics, so let's focus <laughs> on image and the way things come across. Beto O'Rourke, Beto O'Rourke, Beto O'Rourke. No! No, no. Here's no. a guy who's going to run for president despite the fact you only know about him from losing to Ted Cruz. But he's hip and cool. He has literally... He's done the opposite of accomplished things. How do you lose to Ted Cruz? Not even Trump lost to Ted Cruz. But he's hip and cool, so of course he outdid everyone in day one donations, even Bernie Sanders. I like that anyone is like, oh my god, what if Joe Biden runs? I'm like, oh my god, what if Joe Biden runs? Yeah, great, Joe Biden. Who cares? Yeah. Who legit cares? You know who does care? You know who does care? Oh, who cares? Megan McCain. Megan McCain cares so much about Friend everyone. of Jewish people everywhere, Friend Megan McCain. Ju- Here, what? Megan McCain who called in sick on Monday because she got so much bashing on the internet. <laughs> Ha! I'm sorry. I don't usually approve of that shit because, you know, some of my closest friends have had their Twitter accounts shut down after being brigaded by crazy people. But, oh my (coughs) god. So, Megan McCain cried and cried on The View over comments Ilhan Omar made, which were fine in context. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. And Meghan McCain decided that she was the voice of people with Jewish friends everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And cried and said she felt very afraid by listening to comments like this. And so a Jewish cartoonist, (laughs) who's like known apparently for exploring Jewish identity, Jewish history, and what that means in, and also anti-Semitism as well. Yeah. 
draws this, oh, the, the most draws this intense cartoon. comic yeah. of Megan McCain crying into her matzo ball soup while <coughs> reading, I think it was, was it Seder for Gentiles was one, and um, <laughs> explaining, what was it, explaining the Jewish race was another. Yeah. And I think that one had Barbara Streisand on the cover, one of them did. Anyway, it was amazing. And she posted it on Twitter and wrote, this is the most anti-Semitic thing I've ever seen. And the entire weekend devolved into people losing their mind about what an entitled, obnoxious son she clearly is. And how she has no concept of just about fucking anything. Anything To the point that she called in sick on Monday. Which that I almost feel bad for. But I'm like, you know what? No, I can't. Because you're still, Trump is gross and he insulted my dad. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I'll stand but I'll up still for everything, stand for he, everything he stands for. Yeah. 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 No, she but his is style's gross. disgusting. Gross. I'm sorry, your style's disgusting. Well, that's the thing. All she wants is white supremacy to actually be nicer in image. It's like, She what? says the quiet part quietly. Very yeah. quietly. Yeah, she does. She's not one of those ones who says the quiet part loud. She she really really wants. Doesn't to mean stop she that. doesn't believe the loud part to all intents and oh, purposes that we can tell. Yeah, but, but God, she does love Jewish people to the point that she feels comfortable representing all of them. She just loves them so much that she wants to just you know use gentility, them as props. Gentility, gentility, gentility. I like gentility that. Gentility sounds right. It does, but I don't think it means what we think it means. No, that's okay. <laughs> At least we understand Megan McCain. That's that's why I like I prefer the word goyim. It's just yeah, no, nah, just just blanket that shit. I was like shiksa because it sounds like ooh yeah. I'm not even a heterosexual in case that comes shiksa. as a surprise, but shiksa sounds sexy. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think all shiksas are women. I think so, yeah. Oh, what are what's a gentile uh, dude? Gentile. It... it must be a cool name. Maybe it's just goy. Oh, that's weird. That's not hot. No. 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 It's weird. It's only one letter off, but it's kind of like, oh, no, I don't want that. Gay, yes. Goy, no. Goy. Ooh. <laughs> What's segment three? Is that the international um, segment? Do we go there? I think it, it used... No, it used to be like, yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I suppose so. So we, we did local... Oh, it used to be our personal trauma circle. Yeah. We don't have any personal trauma to work through anymore. <laughs> 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 Feels good to laugh. Yes. Uh, I think we went international. Yeah, we did international. We did local. We did Canadian. Um, Mars hasn't exploded or invaded. So oh, no, I mean, I think segment life. three is international. Yeah. I don't think we've gone everywhere, but I think everywhere that you can go is kind of depressing right now. So it's just like, I don't know. What's good in the world right now? Brexit's hilarious. It remains Brexit hilarious. Brexit remains hilarious. I, yeah. I can't believe that. They have. They're still keeping on. We're going. They can't it. bring her deal back again. Nope. That's amazing. Nope. I love that. I know the name of the speaker of the British House of Parliament, <laughs> and he's hilarious. He, I I could listen to him shout. Order. Order. Yeah. Yeah. Order. Yeah. I think if they polled how many people in the universe, the percentage. If they pulled the percentage of people in the United Kingdom who want to bang John Burke out, I think it would be over fifty percent. He could probably become prime minister if he actually wanted to. And I don't mean over 50% among women. I think it would be (laughs) over 50%. Scream it. (laughs) No, it's a giant clusterfuck. I don't understand how it ends. And the the best thing is, no one does. No. No one has any fucking clue. Usually in politics, it's like there's an actor here who is running things. There's someone has an agenda Something is well, being Putin done. Putin has an agenda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Putin has it. an agenda for sure. But, but at like, some point, we have to stop scaremongering and blaming him for everything and just fix our shit. Well, yeah. We actually have to address our crap so that he can't just take shit like he has been. Like, you know. Like, I also think he's becoming a bit of a boogeyman. Oh, he's always been. It's a like something went wrong. Must be Putin. Like, eh, maybe you're just incompetent and vaguely corrupt. Eh. It's not it, Putin. It's it's a it's a balance usually because yeah, not everything is Putin, but the the incompetent and the corrupt allow him to do the things that he has done. Mm-hmm. Like Nigel Farage is absolutely a Russian agent. Nigel Farage going around southern Italy, drumming up support 
for not allowing a delay of Brexit was amazing. Yeah. So you're drumming up support within the European Union for thwarting the will of the British Parliament. Are you Nigel Farage? I'm sorry. Do, are there still a couple dozen people who would join your march of nonsense after that? Oh my god. I, well, there's lunatics everywhere. They say, what is it, like 20 to 23% of the population is absolutely out to fucking lunch at any given time. So that's actually pretty reasonable numbers for your little march to nonsense. And I've always been very entertained by the fact that Nigel Farage got out the minute he <clears throat> fucked shit up. <coughs> he didn't hang no. around. He didn't. He didn't we do won. Shit. I'm leaving. Yeah, it's just, I have. I have perfectly fucked you for the next five to ten years. Yep. I'm out. I'm not going to deal with any repercussions. You're never going to get no. any justice out no. of me. Fuck you. Yeah. Just damn, guy. You're either bought by someone or you're equally evil. likely you really never expected it to succeed and you were just in it for the money and the attention. Yeah. And then it did. And now you're president of the United States. <laughs> oh. Oops. And now what do you got to do? Better... Go to Disneyland. Blame Paris. literally everyone else. Yeah, Paris. No, no, Disneyland Paris. Oh, I know. I, 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 I what was it? I was reading the Wikipedia for Disneyland Paris the other day because it was just like, I wonder what ever happened to Euro Disneyland. And I'd love to say, oh, you're that it. girl for that. Like, that's like that's a type of girl. I, it should be. It it's because of the actually I'm I'm gonna plug a YouTube channel right now. It's called Defunct Land. Oh, I've heard of this. Oh, it's so good. And it just goes through primarily Disney just because of the, the size uh, and the things that they've gone through. Uh but like rides and attractions and entire theme parks and stuff that have fucking collapsed and mm-hmm. just gone under and apparently uh, uh, uh Disneyland Paris or whatever was just the biggest goddamn mess in front of me. It's it's a glorious episode. I, I suggest everyone check out check out Defunct Land. I can't wait for the UK episode of Funk Land. After Funk Land, <laughs> what the fuck happened here? That'd be great. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> Welcome to this depopulated hot mess. Oh my, oh my god! And they're only able to be this complete clusterfuck. There's only 11 days left. There's, like, yeah. there's no way, given our pace of recording episodes, that by our next episode this won't have been resolved in some way or another. I, I bet they won't resolve it. We should record they will push. We should record 10 episodes oh over the next God. day. Yeah. Just, just in case. Just to prove a point. Hmm. Just a really drum of excitement. It's, you know what? I've been reading more about Brexit as I can no longer tolerate news from America. Mm. I just can't. I'm like, no. Well, that that's the thing. Brexit isn't actively currently yet hurting anyone so it's still entertaining yeah it probably will if they pass America it. on the other hand yeah, yeah is, has, is we've actively long passed that particular shit. benchmark yeah so good on the Brits for at least having a slow train wreck let's see Brazil's gone insane yeah Venezuela no one's been able to check in with them on the internet for some time now. yeah are they still is the power still out uh, the power is, I believe, like, yeah, like, infrastructure cannot be reestablished. That's insane. Because the CIA... When was the last time that happened? Uh, the last time the CIA decided it would happen. No, like, I mean, the last time on a national national scale where power just went down for that long. Syria. All over Syria? Yeah, well, it was a concern... Someone struck, like, one of their primary mm. uh, power plants. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh... Yemen, because they destroyed the infrastructure. Uh, probably Iraq, because Iraq had a lot of central power plants. Hmm. I don't have any idea what's going on in Africa right now, or in Russia, or in most of Europe aside from Brexit. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I'm sure stuff's on fire, but nothing's popping to mind right now. Not really. Everything's on fire. We're we're all gonna die from climate change or something or something else or something else or something else. Yeah, I don't really feel too bad for not paying any attention to the climate protests, not because I don't think we're all, you know, soon to head into the ash bin of history here. But just, you know, we've watched our entire lives of us being concerned in our generation and the generation above us being blissfully unaware of it. So pardon us for being tired for the moment as we watch our political landscape 
dissolve around us also. Yeah, because the, the assholes above us are still in power, so nothing's happened. See, maybe that's why our corruption scandal right now is, is the style corruption scandal that it is. It's like, they're young, they haven't yet learned to be... <laughs> monstrously corrupt in your face whereas smooth enough the trump administration you know they can just oh fuck they can just be greasy right in your face yeah all over your face and not fucking care oh god it's everywhere (laughs) speaking of which tim hortons has released a new cream filled donut Are they a sponsor? I forget. They're not a sponsor, are they? No, no, I but so. I, I was just having the conversation the other day of like, you know, if, if you've got a filled donut, it's like, I still won't eat cream because it's just like, I'm not interested in if I'm eating a donut, suddenly getting a, a face full of what looks like gum. That's your fucking concern with Tim Hortons? Yeah. Jesus, how about the inedible food and the barely coherent service? I am moving on to more nuanced Christ. complaints. <laughs> Have you ever been through a Tim Hortons drive through Jesus wept. Oh my lord. The Get fir- the right order the on the third decade, time. The first decade, I please. complained that they fucked Man. up their fritter. The second decade, them. I complained that they fucked up I their coffee. Them. Why should they have morale or care for attention to detail? Mm-hmm. Clearly the people and baking in air quotes that you can't see out there don't give a fuck. It's gross, and I was never one of those people that was even into it. But now, if you get it for convenience sometimes, as one does in this country, because there's a Tim Hortons every 15 yeah. feet. And it's just awful. I had a free donut. If there's a McDonald's just, within a 10-minute drive fun. and I'm on the road and desperately need coffee, I yeah. will wait. Oh, it's much better coffee. It actually costs less now, mm-hmm. uh, because Tim Hortons are greedy, greedy bastards. Mm-hmm. Uh, even, yeah, they're, they're muffins and donuts, because... Since we've accepted this base level of, okay, yeah, fine, you're just reheating something frozen, I only want the best frozen. Yeah. And McDonald's does that. Yeah. You know, I'm not hoping for miracles. I don't expect it to come back. Ooh, if I go to PEI, I do. They have um, yeah, bacon donuts. Ooh. So not, not like bacon donuts. Bacon with an apostrophe donuts. Oh, okay. okay. It's like an, it's like a non, like an off-brand Tim Hortons, essentially, Ooh. that's I was in a bunch of them that were... I was legitimately in a bunch of them, I swear. Well, at least at least three, probably four. <laughs> this was, like, on a two-day vacation to PEI. Oh, my God. I know. Um, and it's, like, a bunch of old ladies. It's usually in a renovated part of an older house. There's homemade gumdrop cake, for God's sakes. Oh, my Need God. Need I explain more? Like, it's, it's perfection. It's amazing. That sounds It's wonderful. everything I want it to be. My childhood memories of donuts, I was spoiled... There was a place in the Amherst Center Mall called the Donut Hole, where old ladies <laughs> sat on the stools to smoke all day long. Fantastic. And you could order chocolate donuts with lemon filling, and they were the best things in the universe. And then Tim Hortons became the only game in town, you're like, what is this hot trash? And now it's worse. Yeah, and like, Robbins was able to hang on, but they've been oh, steadily Robbins. pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. And now they don't even make a fucking fritter. Blech. Is that what you're concerned about, a fritter? I I miss fritters. I was never into fritters, I'm sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> this is where the show devolved to this week. Yeah. It's the world's a mess. Fix things, people, and we'll sit back and comment on them more leisurely next time for your humor. As opposed to this, you know... <laughs> Complaining about Tim Horton. You know, oh, God. Very mildly upset kind of clusterfucky episode. Like... That's what this should be called. The very minorly upset clusterfucky episode. And, and thus it was. I'm not even calling for everyone to get majorly upset and go do something about things. Just, you know, stay Just cool and go it. do things about things. I don't even have anything to suggest. Just try. Just at least speak up if you have an idea because clearly we're all at a loss. I will suggest this. Tim Hortons, get your baking shit in gear. If you're lucky enough to live in Prince Edward Island, a phrase rarely uttered. Yeah, I've never heard that. Before. Go to fucking Bacon Donuts immediately and appreciate what you have. I admire the fact that there are no billboards along the roads on your way. That's enough right there. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. Ever drive down Upper Barrington on your way into downtown Halifax? Yeah. Are you here as a tourist? Do you want to see the landscape? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Don't even talk to me about the giant, like, crazy shipbuilding site in your way. At least yeah. that pays some of our bills. Like, no, it's just the fucking billboards. Stainers. Polluting Stainers. your site. Stainers. Those things somebody's bill, too. No, I don't care enough for that. PEI gets by without them. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I get to buy with their ships too. Yeah, I just, I just never. They also get by without their own area code. They're, they've got problems. <laughs> they got bacon donuts. That makes it all okay. Ta da! I feel like that's just a really good like place to end. I'm thinking bacon about donuts. like a segment three someday where we just go <laughs> through international comfort foods. Ooh, that'd be good. Because it's 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 coming to that. I feel like for that though, we have to actually have some of it here because we can't start talking. Listen, about when it comes food. time for that episode, we'll probably be sobbing into our international comfort foods because of the state of the world. So we will have that here. We'll be enjoying so- Soylent Green. In the meantime, here's to a, you know, an episode of Sunnier Ways, and we mean it this time next week. Sunnier Sunny. Ways. Sunny Ways. Sunny Ways. Gender parity will fuck you all over equally. Excellent. <laughs> Gender parity until the women start calling you a shithead. <laughs> well, I feel inspired. <laughs>